Hello and welcome to a host of event here. We are in the Legends car, the 34 Coupe, not the <laughs> NASCAR Legend. But uh, we just got a fun little event here today. We're bringing a whole bunch of these tiny little cars to Long Beach, which is a brand new track for me. Right now we're going out for qualifying. And uh, I did some practice, but again, this place is brand new to me. Just bought Long Beach for this event, and I, I hope I get the chance to use it some more. I do uh, see it quite a bit Take on road schedules, so hopefully a potential destination for some other series as well in the future. But for now, we're uh, putting a car here that probably doesn't necessarily belong, but it is pretty fun. I've enjoyed... Uh, the practice I've gotten so far driving this thing around here and it's probably a good car to use to learn because it's obviously uh, a little bit on the slower side and pretty easy to oh god hit hit the wall with apparently <laughs> but uh, I'm using a setup provided by Gavin it is uh, open setup and we had a couple people sharing their setups on Nick's discord Nick being the host, I should mention that. <laughs> it's pretty much assumed at this point, I think, but yes, Nick being the host. And uh, I used Nick's setup and I used Gavin's setup and uh, I got a little bit more speed out of this one from Gavin. So this is the one I'm using. The bumps are crazy here. Just constantly jostling the car all around and sending you off in whatever direction. So actually, I lowered my force feedback just a bit, trying to combat that a little bit. But it's still, uh, regardless of whether I'm feeling it as much, it's still bouncing the car around. I mean, it looks like we're on a gravel road out here. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But we'll see what we can do in qualifying. Um, I think Gavin was the fastest in, qual or, uh, in practice. He's got some speed. And I don't have any excuse because I'm using his setup. <laughs> Other than the fact that I just, I never raced this car. <laughs> oh my god, I almost hit the wall. That was very, very close. I wasn't even trying to push it that hard and I just, I uh, nearly overdrove on exit. So that was a little scary. Oh, I hit the wall. That contact is going to invalidate the lap. It is a timed qualifying, I believe, so we've got eight laps, but we're never going to finish all of those laps. So I'd better just uh, get it together here and make sure that the next lap does count. Otherwise, we're going to be starting in the back. We don't have enough people that uh, anyone's not going to make the main, I don't think. So we do have a spot, if I'm not mistaken. But still would uh, like to be in front of some of the pack, I think. I can never see the right side over there out of the exit of that corner. I could probably be taking that much better, but I, I can't even see. It's such a sharp turn. So this lap's not going to count, unfortunately. It wasn't very good anyway. But we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get one in here. Abnormal lap invalid. I've never actually seen that message before up there on top. Interesting. Abnormal lap. We don't do things the normal way here, I guess. Don't spin. Oh my god. This is, this is tough, you know? Even though this is supposed to be like a rookie kind of car. It's pretty tough to get it around here with speed. Of course, not really where it... Not the first place they probably thought about whenever they were making this car for it to race, but... <laughs> it's also, like, way wider than I think it is. I, in practice, uh, I did practice before I actually got in this lobby, too. Before I came in here, 
I kept hitting the insides of the walls just because this thing's wider than I expected it to be. Which was interesting. Interesting problem to have. Okay, we're gonna launch a ramp apparently. Well, I heard a 134. That's pretty darn good. Chris. He's been kicking our butts in a lot of these <laughs> road races. That's not too surprising. I'm doing terrible. That's two seconds off of my optimal. We'll try to get better here, but this I think this is going to be our last lap. So I'll try to go faster here. We'll see what happens. Probably going to run into a wall again. Seems like the most likely outcome. We'll get session optimal up, so that way we can more accurately see if I'm actually uh, improving on my lap at all. So far, so good. Alright, gotta really be careful in these exits, it can break loose. Oh my gosh, it was like locking up the brakes. That's not what I want either. Well, at least this lap will be better. Actually, quite a bit better. The guy behind has just done a 136.7. What we got? 136.2. I don't think I even changed any spots, though. So that'll be it. We're uh, not going to be able to fit in another lap. So 136.2 is what we got. And it's what we're going to have to take. Alright. Is it a good idea to flip over twice during your qualifying round? Usually you want to do more than that, but uh, two should be uh, okay to get a decent start. <laughs> Um, so Gavin, ahead of us by a half second. Good lord. Um, Nick up there, also pretty fast. Oh my gosh, Chris up there, like a full half second ahead of even second place. Like, the guy behind is wow. Just done a <laughs> the end of the session, P8. Well, uh, it looks like we're about mid pack on speed of the people that actually did qualify. And it's all just for fun, of course. Uh, we've got two different races here. I'm actually wondering... 3.2... Okay, no, we'll keep 3.2 in there. We might be able to get away with 2.1, but... Standing start should be pretty fun. That's part of the appeal of this, I think, is getting a standing start in this car, because I think that'll be pretty, pretty wild looking. Standing start, so do not jump it, Nick says. Hey, thanks hey, for thank passing that on. on. I can't yeah. see what he types on my VR. VR. No problem. He uh, suggested we do so. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, everybody. All right. All time optimal. Good luck. Hopefully, it's not a huge mess. I'm going to do my best to not try to get in the back of anybody. I imagine we're going to be breaking a little sooner, maybe, than expected. So, won't uh, drive in too hard. We'll be careful. Ease into the corner a bit. 25 minutes. All right. About ready to go. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. Got 10 left to go. <laughs> Bit of tire spin. We're good, though. Figured it out. Car on your left. 
Heading into turn one, what's it gonna look like? Still there. Clear. Car on your left. Still there. Clear. Easing off of it. <laughs> Getting single file. All right, we're good. And the car turn, not sliding around too much. Don't hit that inside wall. So far so good, all right. No big messes, great to see. That's a room behind us too. Thank you. All right, we made it through lap one. Good stuff. Now, how are we gonna do speed-wise? I actually gained a spot too, having started today. that a little bit. We're okay. A little bit of too afraid to get on the throttle there, I think. Probably babying out the exits a little bit too much. Found ourselves in a little bit of a pocket here, over half a second both in front of and behind me. Maybe side by side up ahead though. Oh, I got a little bit too much of the curb there, that was a little scary. Oh, we had something happen behind us, there's a huge gap now. Interesting. Also, my race labs isn't up either. I've been having trouble getting it to stay on the screen lately. Maybe something with the update made it weird. Oh, it almost didn't grip up. Oh no, Scott lost connection. That's no good. Caught up to the guys ahead a little bit. Ooh, he almost hit that inside wall. He cut that really close. I'm really not very knowledgeable on where the nose of this car is. I don't drive this thing ever, so... Gotta be careful about where I'm at. See on those curbs, don't get too far over. Kind of getting stacked up behind the guy there. So I don't want to run on the back of him. That broke all of our momentum heading on to uh, the straightaway. Just the line. Right left. P7, the gap to all in front is now 0.9. That's your best lap in this session.
Right, got through there pretty good. Feel good about that. Get someone loose up ahead, or they'd uh, just move over to the right real quick. I think that's Gavin up there in that eye racing legend car. Right there with this big group. We've got Chris and Billy on their own race there for the win. And then we got the rest of us here in this little pack. It's funny. Okay, got through there better that time. Gavin on the right yeah, side up there. Third. I think him and Nick are battling for third. I was expecting you to be so far off pace. Hmm. We're losing control a little bit here. Come on, guys. Let's get it sorted. The car in front of us is Nelson. A little bit of a tire lock up ahead. We're getting loose on throttle. Their little mistakes kind of lost us some time, unfortunately. But then I fell back from them anyway. Drift it. Foster, Very cool again. course, though. Very scenic. I don't think I own any other street circuits. This might be the only street circuit I own now. Having just bought it. Oh, no! Oh, no! What happened? What happened? I think Nick locked it up and missed the turn, and then everybody piled in. Oh, no! Gavin's still back there, though. What happened to Nick? I, I, I couldn't really see. It looked like he locked him up, hit the wall, and then uh, a couple people following. Couldn't quite get around. That's a bummer. We're just now halfway. Let's see if we can catch up to Daniel Hall up here. Oh, he has a bit of a bad exit right there. I think we might be able to catch him. It's going to be tough, though. i got to hit some good laps. About point eight ahead. Gavin's falling back some more. He might have some damage. But he's got Clayton back there to potentially battle for a spot. Oh, that's not cutting, is it? Cut that a little bit much. And we're pretty equal on speed to the 11, I think. Still 0.8. Might be a little faster in certain sections, but he might be better than us in others. Okay, Colton. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Relax, focus, keep it smooth. See if we can get in faster. Gained a little bit there, I think. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we, we gained a lot through that section. Chris and Billy are still in a whole nother zip code, <laughs> unfortunately. We don't have a chance at the win, but I don't think we ever did. I never expected to be too good at this because I never drive this car. Pretty much most of the time I've driven this car now is for hosted events. <laughs> oh, guy had getting a little loose. Loosey goosey. Whoa. Really hard to tell where he is and where the wall is with a single monitor. Can we get a podium in this road race, though? We'll have to earn it. Nick, did you get in the back of me or did I just lose it? Alright, point three back. Only got a couple laps to go though. Pushed it through there. Thankfully got it to stick. Okay, Colton. You're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. You've got two laps to go. Two to go. I'm really bad through that final corner, I think. It seems like I always lose a bunch of time through there. I just wanted to make it interesting. Two to go, point six ahead. We got through there really good compared to him there. make a pass though he got sideways I really wanted to get a good run on him if possible I don't think I did though not enough Really slow through here. Last lap. I always lose a ton out of the exit here. I don't know if that's just the nature of following someone into that corner because of how slow you have to go through it or what. That was a uh, Yeah, one more chance, one more lap to make it by him though. After all that we went back to point six.
Don't run in the back of him. Oh, he's sliding. He slid. I had to hit the brakes pretty hard to not get into him. Run is inside now, though. trying to get by oh man Daniel I hate to see that good racing man yeah that was fun <laughs> two minutes to go two minutes well done decent all right there's the ticket flag nice run solid work that was great we uh we got the pass done looks like Daniel's still gonna pull it into fourth so that's good to see we had ourselves a great battle Chris got the win by over three seconds. He had no contest. <laughs> Let's do it again. It's two races. I wonder how it's, uh, is, if it's like, uh... <laughs> I had to make it interesting at the end there. I wonder if it's based on uh, where we finished, where the next race will be, or if we go back to our original qualifying. I'm, I don't actually know. Yeah, this should be a great video to watch. Um, of course, check out Nick and uh, Gavin and everybody else who uploads their perspectives. Should be good stuff. I'm curious what the tires are saying. Not really too much going on there. You would have killed, killed me, Laura, if you uh, uh, weren't damaged. Damage. Checker flags out. Eighth place. All right, we'll see if we're just going to skip the warm up or not. Over the next thing. So. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, invert 10. I see. So we're going to be eighth because we finished third. Gotcha. <laughs> and that's why. Okay. Man, Nick just barely misses out. I'm very curious what happened uh, to Nick. We will go ahead and uh, if they are doing a full warm up, check out the incidents in the meantime. That'll be a good way to spend it. So, lap one. The Lord just gets hit in the back. Fortunately, a couple people get caught up in that. I think she was just trying to be real careful into the first corner. And maybe James wasn't quite ready for that level of careful. That's unfortunate. Then Scott, nowhere to go. <laughs> he goes flipping. It was uh, quite spectacular. Part of the reason we have two races, because um, if something goes wrong early for someone, at least they'll have another chance. There's your uh, eventual winner, making it look easy, I'm sure. Oh no, we might not be able to uh, actually look at incidents the right way because it looks like maybe we're just getting certain circumstances uh... yeah where nothing's actually happening so we'll see if we can survive another one I think I got a 0x that race didn't I? if I can check yeah. In fact, most everybody did great. Unless this is... Oh, this is probably warm-up. Never mind. <laughs> so, yeah, apparently Nick did something that caused that wreck. See if we can get to it. Uh-oh. I think Scott's got a broken car. He tried to turn it into the pits, maybe, and just... I don't know. Is that where you enter the pits? I don't even know. It must be. Brandon into the wall there. And another one.
I'm gonna skip past any of them that look like they're just gonna be that corner. Right, got the wall pretty good, it looks like, right there. Oh, Ryan, too much curb and spins it. Nick and Gavin were having a great battle. <laughs> so we'll skip. Got some fountain trouble. Just a little bit of wall. I'd be watching these guys, maybe learn something. We gotta be getting close to whenever Nick had his trouble, right? I think it was lap five, four, maybe, that it happened. Only about a minute until we get uh, back racing again. Try to get through all this first. Side by side into this one. Oh wow, big group of cars right there. Ooh, James. Everyone comes together a little bit. Moving right along. About time to get racing again. We still haven't seen what happened to Nick because it doesn't want to show us everything. All, right, all the right stuff. There it is. There's what happened. Looks like he pitched it in too early, maybe. Maybe went down a shift too far. And then everyone kind of just stacked together. Gavin got going pretty quick, though. So that's probably why he was able to still pull it in for a decent finish. All right, we're going back out there, though. Make sure we have 14 laps of fuel. We do. Should be just fine. See if we can pull it into another clean finish. I got to clean my glasses. They got smudged somehow. One moment. Oh, God. I made them worse. What have I done? When did it get foggy in Long Beach? All right, that'll do. So standing starts again. I assume everyone remembers. Thirty minutes. Oh well, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Stop wasting time. Okay, Colton, get ready. Green, let's green go, flag. Let's go. Green flag. Uh oh. Had to go around a guy there. Car on your left. Go right. Clear. Uh -oh. Left. oh my goodness. Alright, I guess we're alive. That's good. Good start, mate. Nice one. Thankfully I saw that coming a little bit ahead of time and was able to avoid it. Got on the brakes a little bit. All right, what we got? We got Gavin in the lead. He's got himself a good head start. Ryan and Dan in front of us at the moment. Chris behind us gonna zoom by, I'm sure. I'm not sure who got caught up in that, that initial wreck.
Not sure what just happened behind us, but I saw someone get really close to me. Gus and Billy already fighting for position. They gonna have to go catch Gavin though. Although they do have four more laps to do it this time around. 14 laps instead of 10 laps like last time. Seems like uh, being a little more aggressive on throttle can actually be helpful in getting this thing turned. I'm kind of learning that and it's helping me out a little bit. Oh no, I think they had a crash behind us. I think Chris might have been in it. That might ruin his chances of a repeat. See Nick back there. Ugh. I think Dan in front of us maybe got the wall a little bit. I got the wall a little bit, but not quite as much, I don't think. Clear. Come on, Colton. Good stuff. Keep it coming. All right. Doing okay, though. I still see Gavin up there. He hasn't completely driven away. We know Billy's going to be fast, though. He's probably going to catch us before the end of this thing, unless there's more issues. The car ahead is Thompson. Oh, I overdrove it. Oh, God. That was bad. I think we're okay though, I don't think I broke anything. Just kind of pancaked to the wall a little bit. That's fine, I was hungry. We'll drive away a little bit if we can, again. Whew, I gotta be careful though, cause that was not good. That was almost a disaster. Use all the track. Force them to find the gap. Got Ryan two seconds ahead. Okay, I got through there really good that time. I'm happy with that. It's better than I normally do. Very thankful my car's not broken. Gavin's going faster than us right now, sounds like. Sorry if I chopped you, did not mean that. It's a weird corner, but I guess it worked. I almost went out wide. I gotta remember this car is wider than I think it is. I think Ryan ahead of us is faster. He's pulling away. Oh, I almost hit that wall. That was almost bad. Gotta not drive over my head. Billy's gonna catch me no matter what, I think. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch Ryan. So maybe the best thing I can do is just not crash myself trying to be faster than I am. Whew. That's tough, though. Tough racing as uh, pretty much all road racing is for me. 
I consider all of it pretty tough. To <laughs> so it's something that wants to go wrong for you in row racing. Plenty of walls to hit and grass to fly into. Not here though. I don't see any grass here. Plenty of walls though. Why am I disconnecting? That needs to stop. Internet needs to not do that. I don't know what's wrong with my internet lately, but it can't be doing that. It's throwing me off now. I'm, not, I'm losing fo focus. I guess I'm blinking. Hmm. No, I don't, I don't see you blinking. Weird. Gavin had an issue too. My relative went empty for a minute. My key bar's orange, but hopefully I stay here. Weird. I don't know if I can keep close enough. I was just gonna say I had the same issue, but I should be focusing on driving anyway. Ooh, maybe we can catch Ryan if we put things together. Billy's catching us. But did gain a couple of tenths on Ryan over time. Fastest lap for Roberts, 134.5. We'll be down to who makes that mistakes as well. Spin it. Hey, we're doing good right now. Got in the rhythm a little bit there and hit some good corners. I'm trying to hold Billy off. I've like hit the nitro trying to keep away from him. <laughs> Let's just it's gonna end up with me spinning though, I feel like. Didn't stick very well right there. Oh, he's right behind me. <laughs> we are catching Ryan a little bit. The problem is Billy's catching me faster than I'm catching Ryan. Thank you. Oh, we got lap traffic. That could have get interesting. Was at 135.1. Hopefully, we catch that 20 in a good spot. 
I guess that works. Probably not how he wanted to do it, though. <laughs> I went a little bit wide. I saw smoke. Did Gavin have a little bit of an issue? He's four seconds ahead. I think he was at five. He might have had a small issue. Billy was trying to make a move there, but I don't know if that's the best place to do it. Though so I maybe I'm wrong. I'm new to this place. Your lap time was one thirty-five point one. Gavin only three seconds ahead now. Oh snap! Bad corner for Ryan. Woo! How many we got left? We got about five laps left? Alright. I don't know why I didn't shift there. It's gonna cost me. I'm sorry. Dump the track. Well, I suck. I hope the next guy didn't run into me. I hope I got off the track in time. Yeah. I told you I was gonna wreck. I was pushing it too far. <sighs> Okay, that's fine. Fifteen minutes left. That's fifteen minutes. Okay, Colton. Double chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. You're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. Yeah, that's the end of our race. No reason to go back out there again and uh, not be competitive. So that sucks. Probably should have just let Billy by. Instead of trying to be faster. You got five laps to go. Hmm. Well, we'll go through and see the incidents here in the future. It's under braking there. Blocked a couple people. Please understanding, I appreciate him for that. We, here we just got guys still trying to gather it up and figure out where everybody is after that wreck. Ugh. And it just keeps going. Oh, that's right. We have to skip through this part because it's going to keep showing it. 
We're just gonna go and uh, try to check out anything that immediately looks like it's a wreck. Uh, what happened? Okay, so this is what happened to Chris. Oh, he locks it up and doesn't get it turned in. Okay. So he's trying to outbreak him, but he's locking him up. And so when Billy goes to turn in, he hasn't turned in yet. Interesting. Still out there, chasing him down. Oh my goodness, what happened here? What a wreck. 20 just goes in too hard, drifts it into the wall, and then they connect. Oh man, that was a big one. Quite a spectacle. <laughs> Couple of self spins there, right back to back. <sighs> I wish this ended better. And if I'm gonna wreck myself, I just I wish it was just me. All clear. Oh, yeah. Maybe Gavin can go and uh, finish it off for the win. Still in the lead right now, it looks like. Hey, that's what I did. Whose idea was it to put that wall like that anyway? Oh, I see. It's the tire barrier. Okay. Hmm. At least our impact wasn't as hard, I guess. Man, they couldn't have just put it like three layers of tires, though. Am I right? Like, <laughs> saved a couple of people here. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, I think, yep, just got uh, too far on the inside there where the bumps get really vicious. The curb, rather. There's me trying to do this thing I did later, earlier in the race. I guess I should have seen it coming. You've got two left to go. <sighs> Ooh, 26 in there, a little hard. And right along. Ooh, too hard on entry, doesn't grip up. I have this unmuted, right? Yeah, okay. Everyone, oh, trying to get by Brandon, but not able to do it. Probably pretty blind corner, I imagine, coming around there. If you look from the cockpit. To go. There he is. <laughs> yeah. Tries to go to the left. Not possible. That stinks. It's a very dangerous spot for Brandon to end up. Not like he planned it that way, of course. I keep forgetting that uh, these are nothing, that we have to skip by these faster. I think you might have slight engine trouble there. I don't know, I didn't even hit anything. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, no. It just all of a you're smoking. Oh no, Nick. Spun out on lap five. That's, that's that same spot too. He well, said he hates this quarter and that's <laughs> that's why. Making their way over the bumps and such. Ooh, exiting the fountain. A little looseness.
Oh, Nick King. I did that in practice too. Spun out of the exit right there. Been right along. Nick spawn there. Try not to go too fast and break it at the same time. Billy might have almost spun it right there. What happened here? Well, Congrats. I think if someone didn't try to win it on lap one, no. you would have had some uh, competition. Two minutes. Left. Two minutes. Who tried to win it on lap one? Yeah, you yeah, were you keeping up with me for a while, and I was starting to get slower. Oh, God. It was a good race, though. That, <laughs> that looks fun. funny. Yeah, yeah good, good job. job. I uh, lost it on one of those turns. So. Oh, my gosh. It sends them right over. Gave it a good win. There's the flag. It's over. Better schedule some testing. We'll get them next time. <sighs> Wish I hadn't. Uh, you know, I don't drive my cars very much, but they are kind of fun. Going my race. And Billy's. I need to bring the series back, for sure. That's right, this used to be an official thing. They would take these cars on road courses. They don't do that anymore. Wouldn't mind that, seems pretty fun. As long as, uh, well, probably would be, be pretty messy with uh, public lobbies. It's the only downside. And here's me. See, what happened was I normally shift to fourth right here and that got me all messed up. Because I normally shift and I'm like, yeah. And I just barely, that left rear tire. Uh, yeah, I took care of Billy taking him out later. <sighs> Sucks. At least I got off the track. Don't think anybody else ran into it. So, is that it? Did we get anything else? Billy's probably got a broken car. It's the only reason that's happening my fault oh no Orion from second place and he still got second place how about that no well, I could have had second or third Probably not much else to uh, until the end of this thing. Oh, Nick, though, got one last spin in in that corner he hates.
That thing is so broken. It's impressive he's even able to drive that. I just got off the track. I, I needed to get off the track after making a stupid mistake like that. Over driving it. We got the 24 around. How'd that happen? Ooh, inside wall, and then looks pretty familiar. I haven't seen that. Got a little loose on that curb right there, Nick did. Dylan gets the wall, very similar to how I do it. <sighs> I made it popular, except he has a good excuse with a broken car. Which is pretty much exactly what I did. Fortunately, got Nick, too. I think he was letting him go by, though. They got plenty of time to gather it up. Nick's got a little bit of a broken car. It looks like he's getting it around okay, though. Maybe not. Maybe not. I spoke too soon. Oh, man. Did uh, Nick just give it up from there? I think so. It's probably too broken to continue. Or at least he deemed it to be so. Billy just getting that thing around. There's where uh, Nick's dad blew his engine. Did he have any front end damage? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> That's strange. Wonder why that happened. Maybe the temperatures were a little high if. Uh, we were revving him too much. But, coming to the end of this thing. Trying to just find any side-by-side -side action or anything. Nick's dad limping at home. Billy just doing his best trying to limp this thing home. It's all my fault that he's all broken like that. Yep, that's what I did. So he got away with it, though. That's good. And then Gavin's doing some burnouts, because he won! Congrats to him! Isn't that two in a row now? Because we had the, uh... Tiny Tank... Challenge. He won that one. Excuse me. So he's uh, becoming the one to beat <laughs> in these features of these uh, hosted events, but I finished 16th, that doesn't matter though, I just quit out as soon as I ruined someone else's race, but at least we did okay in the first heat, glad we had the chance to at least do that, finish okay there, uh, what did we get, we got like 4th or something, 3rd, so unfortunately I uh, ruined Billy's second race, I hate that, but uh, it was still fun up until then, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching as well. I'm kind of curious. Someone trying to win it on the first lap, right, said. I was wondering if he was referring to me. Was he referring to the red one? The red car?
Zach got a great start. He just couldn't get to the stick. I guess maybe that's what he was talking about. I was expecting to see like a big dive or something, you know. But maybe just talking about uh, not being able to make it stick through turn one. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed something pretty unique here. Thank you to Nick for hosting. Congrats on the win to Gavin. And I will see you all later. Have a good one.